In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front ABS sensor on this Toyota 4Runner. Let's get started. Use a 21 millimeter socket, remove all six of your lug nuts, and then take the wheel off. With the wheel off, you'll notice that behind the rotor, typically you'd also have a backing plate here, but behind that you'll see the ABS sensor being held on with a 10 millimeter bolt. A lot of times these are rusted in here, so be very careful when you do this. You don't want to break the bolt inside the knuckle or even the ABS sensor. If you do, you're going to have some drilling and tapping to do. Take the bolt out, set it aside safely. At this point, you want to grab some pliers, some rust penetrant, and spray all this down. I know this one will come out because I've actually already had it out, but typically you do fight them a little bit. Wiggle it back and forth, and it should pop right out. As you can see, this is from where I previously had to fight it. The goal here is to break this O-ring free without snapping it in half. A lot of times it does. So what you can do is put a pry bar underneath it or a screwdriver and pry up as you twist, soak it in rust penetrant, and hopefully it breaks free. Following it up, you'll see a mounting clip over here. You can stick a pocket screwdriver or something that will fit in there, pry out like that, and it should release the ABS sensor. Keep going up, and on the knuckle here, it'll have a steel clip that holds it. Bend this very gently outward, and you can pull the wire right out. Up here on the control arm, same thing, another steel clip. Give this a slight bend and pop it out. Another one over here. There will be a lot of these. Okay, pop this out. At the back here, it's supposed to be secured on another one. Mine is actually already broken free, so we'll leave that attached. And if you swing over to the front, unclip it from over here. And finally, the electrical connector all the way at the front here. But okay, pop that out. A lot of times these are going to be stuck because of sand. Shake this out. Now you just want to fish the sensor out from behind, or the wire I should say, from behind the strut tower. There it is. There's your ABS sensor. Now if you had your new sensor, you'd slide it back the same exact way that the old one came out. Try to get it through. There's some hoses and wires back there. Make sure it doesn't get pinched or caught. Okay, just like that. Reattach it over here, as well as over here, and plug it in. Make sure that clicks. If you had a shield here, you'd put it back. Ours is missing. Over here, lock it back into its retainer. Try to bend it down a little bit to kind of lock it in there, just like that. Don't crush it, obviously, but you do want to have it locked in and held tightly. Keep going down the line. This one on the knuckle. This one down here, clip that in. And now let's put the sensor part itself back into the knuckle. Make sure that the tip doesn't have any debris on it. And over here, you can put some silicone paste. This will usually help it not seize in the future and it'll allow it to slide in all the way a lot easier. Start the bolt in. And let's snug it up. That's bottomed out. I'm just gonna give it about an eighth of a turn. That's it, it's a very small bolt. You don't wanna snap it in there. And now we can put the wheel back on. Let's put the wheel on, put on all six of your lug nuts, bottom them out, and torque them to 76 foot pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.